Hi, I'm Pavel Spechalski and truth to be told that nowadays in the relatively small and saturated hobby, like in 2020 or 2021 RC FPV hobby is, if you want to sell something, you have to convince the customers that you are giving them something that never really knew they want. And a great example of this thing I have today in my hands and by the name Runcam on the, on the box you can guess that this is about the FPV camera. However, if we will zoom in to the, to the camera and finally get some focus, if you look over here it says gyro on board. One might ask a question, why the hell do I need a gyro on board? Is this gyro used for the stabilization? Is this thing somehow improving the flight performance? Like for example external inertial uh, measurement unit might or this is just for well for you to ask yourself a question. Hmm, maybe I need should get a gyro on board. So today, today, like uh, expected, we will do a review of the camera and this camera is the Runcam Racer 5 with gyro on board to make things relatively nice and simple. The Racer 5 is just a camera. It's just a camera, there is nothing absolutely special on the camera on the outside. Besides um, the fact that this is this camera with the serial protocol and if you want to, you can connect this via the serial port to your beta flight flight controller to have some special features. But about the special features and the gyro functionality, we will do it in the end. Absolutely in the end of the review, because now um, it's what it's most important about the FPV camera. Uh, does it work? Is the image good out of the box? Do you have to tune it to have a nice performance? And Let's begin with the statement that the camera is definitely tuned for the racers. That means it's for not so contrast scene with a lot of colors, a lot of saturation uh, so and slightly dark view. So when you are flying between gates, you just see that the gate is over there. You cannot miss the gate because it's tuned so the... Um, knowing where the gate were flying in the racing mode is kind of the goal of the FPV camera. And I haven't really bothered to measure the latency of this thing because I guess ask yourself a question, why nobody measures the latency on the camera nowadays? That's a good question because no, you cannot go uh, below the 17 microseconds really of the latency. But the image. I'm rather not flying with the racing mode. I'm rather flying on the freestyle and Truth to be told, the conditions that are right now on the outside here in the Central Europe are not the best conditions for the FPV cameras because uh, it's high contrast with snow on the, on the ground with rather dark uh, areas, for example, where the trees are and usually the sun is pretty low so that there is even more contrast and the white balance, actually basically the white balance struggles to get the correct colors on the screen. This is why I'm not really... I cannot really complain too much about the, the image. The image was fine, however, for my liking, it was on the stock values, slightly overly saturated and slightly too dark. But this is my complaint I have towards quite a lot of the cameras nowadays. This is exactly the case uh, that happened to me and the, for example, the Foxy Predator series. To have, have a comfortable view in those rather hard conditions for the camera, I had to increase the saturation slightly, lower the contrast and lower the saturation and color gain to, to know basically where I'm flying when flying towards the forest or, you know, those rapid changes between light and dark. But how, as soon as I changed that, uh, the camera was just fine without absolutely any problems. I 
regret that there is no option in the OSD of the Runcam Racer 5 to easily adjust the white balance. There is an option to adjust the hue, but it was not really the same and in those kind of difficult uh, conditions. With the snow on the ground, getting the correct white balance was rather complicated thing. Not impossible, but rather complicated. So, as just an FPV camera, it's okay. It's okay, it haven't blow my mind, but it's a camera that you can definitely use for racing on the nice sunny day. And if you change the settings slightly, also the freestyle pilot will, pilots will be rather happy about. And now we go into the gyro. What you can do with the gyro on the Runcam Racer 5. Um, less that you can expect because if you took a look at the OSD and the DVR footage from flight you might notice that in the left top corner there, is, there are numbers running from approximately minus 30 to 30 and this is the information from the camera this is the inclination angle of the camera how much camera is raised up or down why do you want to do this because according to the Runcam uh, people I spoke with, the hardcore racers would like to be able to very precisely tune the angle of the camera. So, what Runcam did, they gave them the possibility to display this information on the OSD applied by the camera itself. And then if you, when you move the camera with the quad on on the flat surface, you can very precisely adjust the angle of the camera. You want to fly with 35, you have 35. You want to fly with 47, there are no half, but let's say at 47 degrees, you can very precisely set it to 47 degrees. For the freestyle pilots, maybe not that important, but on the other hand, take, measuring really the angle on the camera on some of the frames, it's rather complex, uh, complex process. And if you want to do it, uh, you can just use the Runcam 5 if you really, really, really do want to. And also with the Betaflight 4.3, it will be possible to get this angle from the camera to the flight controller to do something. Probably overlay this with the OSD rendered by the Betaflight. So, overall verdict on the Runcam Racer 5, a camera. Nothing very wrong with that. And uh, this feature of having gyro on board, if you really need it, then yes, maybe it's worth paying a few bucks extra for it. Uh, but you, if you don't need it, then I don't really think that this is a selling point. Uh, from my perspective, we could could have just uh, scrapped the gyro or actually the accelerometer to get the actual angle of the camera and concentrate rather on the settings on the camera. But like I said, I'm not usually doing racing and the default settings on the camera definitely are towards racing so the goal is not that you take a look at the beautiful scenery around you but you can very precisely and quickly locate any of the gates and just hit the window of the gate without having to wonder where the where the gate actually is right now so racing with a twist freestyle if you change the setting and that i think covers my review of the Runcam racer 5 Right? If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments if you think that the gyro on the camera is really the next best thing since the slight breath. Please let me know if you, however, think that this is not really such an awesome uh, something. Also, please let me know so we can, as a community, know what other people think of. And, um, yeah, that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next one. Bye-bye.